How's it going? Patrick Kelly from Avenue Physio in Fumoy. Uh, we're going to just do a demonstration um, to link up with our blog post on the thoracic link. And um, This is a bit more extensive um, video explaining how to mobilize and free up your mid-back. Uh, some of the reasons, as we mentioned on our post, the reasons to do that would be to uh, for swimmers or racket players or overhead volleyball players or anything like that to free up your mid-back which will free up your shoulder function okay so we start off using the old foam roller device you can use this smaller firmer one or a, a kind of more uh, generic soft foamy one but uh, I'll use this for ease of demonstration so what we do is we're going to start off with just mobilizing uh, and mobilizes the soft tissue a small bit up and down along the back the main thing here is keep your neck straight and the easiest way to do that is fix at a point in the ceiling. So I'm just fixing my eyes up here and I'm working up and down. And you'll know that I'm not trying to do big massive sweeping strokes up and down because that's hard to control and the t-shirt gets stuck. So what you'll do is you'll just, just work a smaller area up and down like that. You might turn to one side just to bias the left side for this example or I'll turn to the right side and I just work the, the right side okay and what you can do is you can zone into the tighter spots in and around the muscular system is that alright um, and if you're like a skinny fecker like me you might use a, a kind of softer foamy one because there's less muscle tissue but if you've got a bit of bulk there then obviously something firmer is better and um, I continue down a small bit down along just to the top of the lower back here, like between the, the lower part of the ribs, just for good measure to get that lower part of the spine as well, because that will definitely influence the situation. So that's the first part of the rolling of the tissue. You might you might make that take that to a different level than using something like a peanut, which is basically two tennis balls put together and you wrap a bit of tape around it, or if you want to go ninja on it all together, you might use two slitters or hockey balls or cross balls, okay? So the whole idea here is there's a nice little groove in the middle. And that will sit nicely, so allow the spine to come through and it won't be putting too much pressure down, okay? So what you can do here is you can really zone in on those points and again support the neck or just keep it like in that position and you're working up and down that way, okay? So that's quite a lot more focal and pinpoint to, to the restrictions in the soft tissue on the erector spine in that part of the body. Is that fair enough? So you're just working away. 20 to 30 times at each point and you're just loosening up bit by bit and it doesn't really matter if you start at the bottom or the top whatever suits you is that all right then you might go right on a little bit stiffer on one side you know or the other side so what you can start off doing is um, like get the ball and work on the left side here for example and then you're trying to put the weight down through that there and it's just going to be quite, quite restrictive and you'll feel it might catch your breath and you're just going to pinpoint really into the, into the tighter area, is that alright? As you can see I'm, I'm, doing a, I'm adding in an arm movement like this which is adding in all this extra pressure down through the point you can do that, you can turn on to the small bit, is that fair enough? So there are different ways of doing that Get back onto the roller then once you've loosened up a little bit and you can start doing like extensions over the roller like this. Is that alright? So you're really hinging back over the roller and you feel this opening the rib cage at the front here. Is that fair enough? And you could bias one side by just going to one side and just doing a hinge back over that side at the different points. You can do the arms up overhead. Okay one side or the other side you can do rotations into the restriction rotations right at that level into the restriction okay and then what you might do is you might sit down and uh, put your hand behind your head and twist around the corner and twist around the corner and see what the difference is if there's a restriction or a movement a deficit side to side so just good ways of checking how your mid-back works is that all right again Another way is just checking, is that shoulder nice and free? Is it opening up high like that? So if you play tennis and you had a forearm, or sorry, your, your serve was like this, is that movement nice and free into that position? Um, if that isn't resolving things, obviously, then you need to start working towards 
the pecs in the front chest and that's simple enough then you're just going to get the ball and work down work down into the front of the shoulder here along is that right and just in, into the front of the deltoid and pec and work and shoot like that and you're just working across over back along it pushing through up and down like that is that fair enough so you're just getting that arm movement to loosen up like that get a little bit of work and loosen through that mid pec area and that helps the extensibility of the tissues in that overhead overhead action like that is that all right um, so that's a, a kind of a brief summary of some of the techniques that you can use to help free up your mid back your thoracic area and how that links in with your shoulder um, useful for swimmers tennis players racket players of other descriptions cricket and um, those sort of things is that right American football throwers not that we have any here but if anyone in the states is looking that might be useful uh, so again keep an eye on our Facebook and uh, uh, websites and blogs and check us out and give us share us around. Is that alright? See you later.